What's up, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Per usual, our new th Thursday schedule. Yeah, this week's flying by. Uh, we're just going to do a, a quick market update. Uh, so we're going to break down the dollar, the Russell, the NASDAQ, the S&P, just kind of give my overall thoughts and opinions. Uh, what we talked about this week was uh, after the sell-off, you know, like, is there going to be a bounce up? Are we looking for a lower high? And, and so I guess we'll just do it backwards. We'll start with the S&P first. And these blue zones are where I'm actually looking for a, a lower high to happen. Oops, I don't need to be moving anything. Uh, so we, I guess this was Tuesday's video. We talked about Monday being in a range. We finally, so broke, didn't actually confirm it. And by confirm, I mean just like closing inside of it. Uh, but we did outside here. So technically, uh, that's, if anyone out there is calling that a break and a retest, I just wouldn't. I think it just lines up perfectly with this picture. That's all. Uh, we jumped up into that zone. We did find some sellers. They got it here. Zero follow through. And today we had quite the impressive uh, push up, which is what we were looking for. Um, I wasn't ready to... So I had been long, and I talked about if we base out, it's not looking good. And I just wanted to hang out and wait. I wasn't ready to go bear mode yet. Uh, like I told you guys, I wanted just a little bit more confirmation before I just loaded up short. Because we could just be putting in a, a, a higher low. So that's why this one is bright yellow. If it got below that, you know, I was ready to go short. There's actually quite a few bears in the comments that thought this was already confirming we're just rock and rolling to the downside. And the way it sold off, everything about it was just kind of weird, which is why I didn't. Also why I didn't want to argue with anybody too. I thought maybe that was just a little early. Uh, but after a move up like that, we didn't really, like that's just a pullback. Any bull that bought down here, just thinking of any kind of longer term, no, no one's scalping or day trading. Anybody down here, they watch their account go from here to here, down to here. They're not even sweating. They're not worried. They probably have just checked a, a notification. It was like, ah, we're, we're just fine. You know, so they still had all the confidence in the world. Pulling back into this little volatility box where we saw some back and forth for a couple days. Finally getting above it. I guess as far as the S&P goes, if we stay above this this zone right here, like I said, treat it like a ratchet. We just made the one click up. It needs to stay. What I'll be on the lookout for is we turn awkwardly around at one of these like blue zones. We put in a lower high. We come down and test this zone again. When we break that, I'll probably be... <coughs> what I hope to be in already is a short position up here. If you're speculating... Excuse me, I just spit it away. I eat some super spicy foods. So like, my mouth is on fire right now. Uh, if you're speculating, that's a low. We're about to put in a lower high and make the lower low. That's just the trend down. If you're speculating that, I would rather take a short position up, short position up here and just kind of front that risk. Uh, as opposed to coming down here, waiting for a tiny break, and then going short. Because you're setting yourself up for a, just that zone holding a wick. And then you're just... You went short for no reason. So I kind of want to... When we see any kind of fading action up here, if we push up here and it starts to just arch, you know, bulls lose momentum, I want to get in short. So by the time we even create that question, my stop's already in the green, and all I have to do is sit back. If it breaks, we're good. If not, i got to switch gears and go back along. So depending on the time frame you're on, we could just be building up a little bear flag right here and start the trend down. Uh, or, you know, we're, mm, technically that's still... I don't call it a higher low. That trend's still very much intact. You know, so when, when we when we put in these trends like this, and it pulls back. Now, if it puts in a higher low, the trend is still up. If it comes down and goes horizontal, the trend is still sideways and up. It's not down. If you're bearish, you need it to be down. You need the lower low. Uh, so we haven't made that, or at least made it yet. So that's what I'm watching out for for the uh, the S and P. As far as the expected moves, what do you know? We reined it back in. Uh, the the quite the impressive routes are it back in. Uh, the only thing I took was I sold a bunch of uh puts. Uh, once they got juiced up, so those were fine, you know, really fine today. Uh, uh I, I played the uh the S and P futures. Actually, what really had in uh just a quick little recap. You know what surprised me this morning? Nvidia. So I was actually, if you saw my. Did I go, do a YouTube video? I don't know if I did a trade recap. I had uh, I bought Nvidia. Uh, it pushed up. I actually tagged out. I got back in. It pushed up. So I sold some calls. 
Uh, so I paid 540 for the 175s, and then I sold the 177.50s for 550. So I actually paid 540, collected 550. I was in a, I got paid to be in a two and a half dollar spread. So no matter what, and I did five of those, so I had made fifty dollars. Uh, worst case scenario, it tanks. I only make fifty, you know, uh, whatever five times two fifty is, so twelve fifty. That was my max range I was gonna make, uh, you know, come tomorrow morning if it was a green reaction. Well, it tanked, right? So it sells off, and I was like, crap. And uh, I was like, well, we're hanging out. We started to push up uh, pre-market. I even told my mentorship group this. Uh, I closed the, uh, oh, sorry. I did the spreads, and then I did a naked call, 175, because we just uh, pulled back at the end of the day. I was like, let's, let's rock this thing naked. And uh, so that sucks. See, I'm, I'm preparing for a red day. I'm like, this is just going to be annoying. I don't like starting the day digging out of a hole. And uh, pushes up. I closed the, the calls that I sold, the 177s. Locked in the profit there. It ended up being, uh, we were like just shy of, it was like 180 per contract uh, on, on the five. Um, and then the rest went green and then some. It was insane. Uh, so that actually kicked off an, an amazing day for me. Uh, I think I tagged out. I did have a little bit of FOMO because it pushed up. Uh, the, the contracts were 7 bucks a piece. I put my stop at 675 I was just trailing it. Uh, and my stop triggered. I didn't look at NVIDIA specifically the rest of the day because on options contracts, there's some slippage. So I put my stop loss at 675 uh, expecting it to fill probably around the 650 area by the time that that triggers and then I'm at the bid put it at 675 it filled at 675 which to you guys probably sounds like a really good deal that tells me the buyers were still literally right there and just waiting to buy the next contract and, and all it did was a quick little pullback and push up uh, I specifically didn't want to FOMO back into anything or get weird you know just because it was above that but to, to break that down it's not a bad look for NVIDIA. Uh, unless we're starting off a, a channel down. If we put in a lower high, tomorrow we sell off. If we sell off tomorrow but hold this, I'm probably going to be bullish NVIDIA over the weekend. If that breaks, I might even consider a short position. Anyway, back to the uh, the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ the only one that's in the zone. Uh, I did trade the Russell Futures contract. Uh, it did just... It, it tagged out in, in the chop up. I didn't get back in. Still a great trade, but... Uh, talk about leaving some money on the table. We'll get to that in a second. The NASDAQ, it did get below. We're kind of in this. It's still an area of attention. So do we switch this now or are we all sellers in this zone? So that's what I'm looking out for here. As far as this trend line goes, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. All this is is a race. If I'm, if I'm ever going to draw a trend line, right? So I'll use the... Uh, I don't. I should be in a better habit of this, but I'm going to tell you guys to do this. Uh, so click Ray right here. You'll have your two points, boom, boom, and it just extends the line out. Because most of you guys will draw a trend line, like just like my normal trend lines. You got two points, and you're out there just trying to like sell yourself a position. Grab your two lowest points, you know, I guess lowest points or highest points, whatever way the, the trend's coming from, and let that line do the work. Don't sit there and, like I've seen many people do this, they'll have the trend right here. So they're kind of looking around, like, all right, let me let me draw it over here. They're just moving, and what you're doing is selling yourself a position. At that point, no. If you're going to draw the trend and consider it, two highest points. Uh, a, a, another common practice that's pretty awesome, I think. I, I just don't do it. Uh, candle bodies wind up making this line anyway. Uh, switch to a line and just grab your points. Connect the dots. That's all you got to do. Anyway, enough on that. I'm deleting that line because all it is, is was uh, lower highs. And technically, that's still a lower high. So text not exactly looking good. Uh, as far as the overall picture, the bullish thing, if, if you're bullish tech at least, one, what do you know, we're above the 625. If you're brand new to this channel, what I talk about are things you've never heard of in your life. You, you ever played the 625 EMA? Did you even know that was a thing? No. You probably followed all the other YouTubers with the 20, the 50, some people even like the 30. Some people have the 20, 30, and the 50. Then you got the 180 and the 200. Who has ever taught you about the 625? I'll tell you, if you were listening to me, you'd had this up. Okay? Once we broke below it, it was bad news bears. A little fake out up here. Man, watch this magic on the 625, though. Unbelievable. 
Finally hit it, confirm from the bottom. We're actually on top, chesting from the top. You take that for what it is. I don't actually ever play it. It's actually all, all a joke. Uh, it's only funny now because it just keeps happening, and eventually I'm going to sell myself on that. Uh, but what happened was we did get below that zone. That's concerning because the buyer should have shown up here. We got below, and this green line's a weekly line, so, you know, we didn't even touch that. Awkwardly hung around, chopped around for a little bit, and we're back up. So my main focus right now, because uh, a lot of my plays are tech, is this zone. It's kind of bullish above bearish below scenario. We do have tomorrow's excuse coming out. I think it's an hour after open. Uh, Fed's talking. Um, anyway, we'll see what they what, where they want to take things. Uh, that's going to be where I'm at because if, if tech gets above this, I think we're probably okay. We could push up, make a lower high, come back down, hit that zone again, and all we've effectively done is uh, you guys like shapes, right? We made a little triangle. Right, so a lower high, which you're thinking, okay, bearish, here comes that lower low. That's what the trend down would look like. If you're bearish, you're hoping and praying. Uh, but all we did right now is we're set up to make a, like a bull pennant. That's still holding. That's still going to be on the line of the, the bulls. Just because the bulls ran it into here, so now it's it's they got to keep that intact. So pushing up lower high isn't exactly a confirmation that, that we're starting the next leg down. Getting below that zone probably a lot more we just reject and come back down i don't know if i can be bullish over the weekend maybe something shows off in the charts to say otherwise but if i if i wake up tomorrow and we're here and we sell off as it stands i'm either not long or i have some short positions over the weekend uh, as far as the cues go it did we hit the expected move and, and we're still here so just a normal day in the uh the office i guess uh, all right, as far as tech, or not tech, the Russell came down. Again, bright yellow. That means focus up. We never never actually closed. A couple of wicks, threw it off there. This is my alert to go short. That alert goes off. I'm shorting contracts. We're going in. I'm riding with Winnie the Pooh all the way. We didn't. Got above. <laughs> a little break and retest. Uh, so if you missed the type three, you got one more shot at it. Uh, and pushing up. So the Russell right now, actually, I think of all of them, probably looks the best. That's just the cleanest bounce. Nice, strong trend up, pulled back. Uh, like, yeah, three red days of panic for some YouTubers with some, you know, shocked face thumbnails. But all we did was pull back and get you a better entry. Uh, so the Russell right now actually looks the best out of all of them. Largely the same story between all of them. Are we going to make a lower high? If we do make a lower high, to sum every one of these up. Because they all pulled back. They're all bouncing. So right now, like I just drew out. The question is, do we make a lower high? That's what that blue zone. I'm going to be watching out for a lower high right here. That's just step one. We're not out of the woods. We can't really speculate much. Nothing. We could just blow right on through that and hit this zone up here. If we do make a lower high, pull back. Now the question is... Do we make like a higher low, like the top of this zone? Are we setting up for a bull pennant to break up to the upside? Or make this low, lower high, we blast through that, we make the lower low. That's probably going to unfold next week if not going into the following week after that. Uh, so that's what I'll keep an eye on. Uh, so that's what my intraday moves. Where we're at as far as these zones and that correlation is going to be how I trade intraday. Like, all right, we're moving up here. I'll still be long. I see a start to fade. Um, I'm moving my stops up considering a short position. Uh, you know, I take that. If it breaks down, I'm just going to start trailing it and then see. You know, each time. It, it's just one of the benefits of how I trade is that I just trail everything. So I can be long, trail it up. So the reason I like that is if we make the lower high, I'll tag out. If we just blast right into this, I just get to tell you about how good of a trader I am because it just continued up. I was on the gain train forever. Um, just do that. It's easier. I can't tell you to do their money. You do whatever you want, actually. But if there's one thing, if there's a few things I could tell you. It's don't exit positions. Just trail them. Let the market do. Don't guess the bottom. Don't guess the top. If you are, manage your risk. Anyway. I think that's everything. I'm gonna talk about the dollar. That kind of looks like a bull flag. If we see that break up, that's gonna be that is gonna put uh, especially tech kind of on the hurt bus. So seeing a bullish dollar is going to lean into my. If we're talking bullish and bearish, there's the head and tails to literally everything. That's gonna go in the bearish column. 
you know, what you gotta, what you want to see is like, hey, we got five reasons to be bullish, fifteen to be bearish. I'm gonna go ahead and be bearish. You know, it's when it's a 50-50, it's like, ah, crap. Roll those dice. Or wait for something to confirm it a little bit easier. You don't have to click the buy button. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, I did check. There's 26 spots left in the mentorship group. Uh, that's not a sales pitch. You want in or you don't. That's the teachable link down below. If you buy the trading suite, you get invited. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out to you. It's a, it's a chat. I'm live every day uh, before the market opens. Uh, plus, it's also all my courses I'd ever sell. Every video I'll ever make, course-wise. Uh, yeah, if you're interested, check that out. Everyone else, I will see you in the next video. Oh, actually, never mind. If you are a YouTube member level three, you're going to be part of, well, not part of the membership, but you get the, the stream. YouTube members level two, it is Thursday night, it's question night, so if you get this, it's question night. Jump in. Check the uh, community tab, you'll see the link there. Uh, everyone else, I'll see you in the next video.